Hello everyone and welcome to part 3 of Go Crafting Tutorial. Uh, so, so uh, last week when I left off, uh, I left off with this graph right here, the, the log, log minus a quadratic. Uh, and, uh, and I believe I left you off with, with, the, with the H and K values for you to play with. Uh, so, uh, so um, like during this past week, uh, while while uh, like the gap between I was recording, I was playing around with with the uh, not just the H and K values, but also also uh, these numbers down here because those impact at the the width of of each part of the graph. Uh, so uh, so uh, so these numbers were the ones that I found most. I found to uh, to be a seem to seem to be the best fit. Um, so I can put those in. Uh, H is one point six two five or one and seven eighths. Not one seven eighths, five eighths. And K is four point seven five or four and three quarters. Uh, to uh, to put a mixed fraction, you can put an ash. No scale like that. I'll give mine as a decimal. I want to look. Um, and then um, another thing that that um, I've seen right here. Uh, this one it looks to be it looks like an ellipse at first, but then I'm being more convinced that we that we should be using a rotate ellipse. So the same ones that we use for for its notes. Um, so we we'll start with. So this one's going to be a little tricky um, because we have to solve for the quadratic. Actually, instead of just solving for y, we can just set the y limits. It's going to save us a lot of time. Um, so uh, this is an equation I found like a while ago. Plus x squared plus xy plus y squared. Interesting. And that's equal to 1. And we're, we're going to move each of these exponents to the right and I apologize for going a little uh, for going like a little fast because I got a lot planned like I want to I want to do one horn over here I want to do one ear and and uh, maybe like one piece of this this uh, what I believe is a goatee um, and uh, and then uh, I'll I'll leave you to finish the rest because I don't want to spend too many videos just Doing one animal. Uh, all right, so this one, the look at words seems to be the line looks like one. I want to subtract one over, and then uh, this one, this one is about half of this size. Maybe square it. Wrap these in parentheses. F is a little too small. 1.5. 1 1.75 1 looks good. I'm happy with that. Uh, I'm going to move up the Y values. Put an arbitrary k so we can change all, all the values at the same time. Move it up like that, and instead of using ones, we use h. In fact, I believe you can like influence what how this gets rotated. Nope, that's not what it does. Let's 
a little smaller. Oh, H impacts the horizontal values, and K is the one that impacts the vertical values. This one, I like it better at one. This one, I believe you can just snug it in like that. That looks perfect. Okay, and then the slight problem is that this graph, that this line right here is not quite intersecting with this line, which means I have to move this line over by a tiny bit. So I just shift this by ever so slightly. Do then point five is going to tamper with this graph right here. Oh, oh, five by sixty five is going to. Okay, and then we have, and then now we need to stretch this out by a tad more. I feel like we can just shift this over. We can afford to shift this over by a little bit more. And that looks good. And we get a longer decimal. We have always, which I'm usually not a, not a fond of. Now this part we can. Now this part we can actually start setting up the y boundaries. So this one we can say y is less than two point five six two. And as for this one, this one is y is going to be the x values value might be more critical for us. So this is going to be 1.594. Okay, and then the and then um when we can finish this off with another graph right here and I want to choose a slightly different graph right, but first things first I'm going to put in these H values that we found I found so uh, I know going fast we have a lot to do um, so so if you so if you if you need to like catch up for any reason uh, you can either pause the video, and if that's not, not helping you very much, uh, you just ask a question saying, uh, at, 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 at this minutes and this many seconds, um, I got lost where you did such and such. So, and, and that, I'll make things really clear on, on um, where you got lost, and also do specify where you're getting lost. Um, all right, so I'm going to choose from several equations. We can do secant and cosecant are going to look the same. So I'm, so I'm just going to just choose one of them. Uh, so let's do x minus. Which one is centered over here? I'm gonna I'm just gonna double check that. Y equals secant. Oh. Alright, so this is the one. So we can I'm gonna put this one on a list. I'm gonna uh, change the color just so we know that we're not that we're not settled in this one yet. To this one, I haven't used orange in a long time. Uh, and then, well, this is a good one. 
I'm pretty settled with the sea kids. Other ones I think about are our log functions as, as similarly related functions. And another one I think about is y equals b to the x squared. And I'm curious to see what happens if I do the other way. Oh, I think I've done that before. So it, so uh, secant x and e to the x squared seems to be our seem to be uh, the best choices, and I've I've already decided on secant. But you're know, welcome to use e to the x squared. Um, the transformations work the same way. Um, so I'm gonna get rid of this one, and I'm gonna let's approximate where this is. It looks like a little more than two. And then we need to flip this upside down. And I'm not sure if it's worth squaring it. And it doesn't seem like it. At four. At four. Five, because there's a, we have a one in the gap in between. Make some adjustments over here. We can widen up this graph. We can see how does this one impact it? Whoa, that one really stretches it out. That makes things perfect. I like it. I'm going to stick with this one. And that means that we can, we can now solidify this equation and this one. Is y is less than 2.832. And restriction y is less than or equal to 32. Otherwise, you'll get an, an open circle when you scroll to the end. Right, and then and for as for this line, we can set one boundary for y to be greater than or equal to 3.008. You notice that I didn't make, make uh, much of a difference because we haven't actually deleted the area in between. Um, so far, let's just delete what's in between here. So why is going to go from negative 0 0.189 to 2.525. Okay, now that's, now that makes the graph look a lot better. And we can do the same thing over here. We can just use this number right here. So what's the what values are we using? Okay, that's this number right here, 1.594 and 2.832. That is his highest value right here. So we can just go with that one. 2.832. And uh, and obviously we need to you know, restrict. Some parts because if you zoom out, you notice that we we'll, that we have a lot of these guys that we don't want. So we need to restrict this in. Oops. Um, and then we do that. So first, we find that the peak is at four and one eight, and then we should also restrict it. For this to be between, let's see what is this? Uh, 
uh, why would something x is greater than 2.25 wait that's this half and secant has a period of so if we go one cycle I'm going to subtract pi for 2. See how that impacted the graphs? Okay. And then I'm going to, and I'm going to add to add pi over 2. Two point two five plus pi over two. All right. We can just stop at pi over two because that's where the zero mark is. That's for what's left. Uh, we can just use use a uh, use just like an ordinary half circle. Um, so I just, just do y is equal to the root of x minus 2.5. No, it's not the equation of the circle. Y is equal to the square root of 1 minus x minus 2.25 squared. And I'm going to add 5.25, which is too much because the circle has a raised 1. Um, and then we, we should start adding, adding to this, so let's make it 2.875, and I'm just going to stick with this one, 2.885. And x is greater than 2.25. And then uh, we can just add that back into here. Right, so this video is taking longer than I'm, than I'm expecting, so I'm, so I'm going to have to I'm going to have to cut it short on you. Um, so I will yeah, I'm going to to uh, pick it off. I'm gonna pick it like pick right off uh, next week and uh, and I'll then uh, we can can change understand what that we're doing. So next week the our goal would be get an ear that's one that's like two equations here and then then uh, and then we can also do one part part of the cone T. Um, May, and then maybe do this part as as well depending on, on what time allows. So, so um so uh, would it, so I'm gonna leave you right here and uh, and I will I'll finish with you next week. This one is a little off. We figure out why. 2.2. I'll figure it out and I'll tell you what was going on.